Hello again, here with another map review of an up-and-coming map that caught my attention that I'm really hoping uh, will catch yours as well. I'm just, I like to poke around in the review queue and see what kind of things aren't getting appreciated, what kind of stuff might be popping up. This is called Critical Energy by Sobros. Uh, so let's take a look at that author profile really quick. I swear he had different armor last night. I'm wondering if that actually happened. So with one day of play, this is Sobros and four total maps. So not too, or relatively long in the community, but not too much attention so far. And we might be just about to change that a bit, but I will tell you right away, stick with me on this one because it didn't start out particularly engaging, but man, did it go somewhere. Uh, in my view, at the very least, I had a lot of fun with this one, more than I would have expected, more than you might even expect just from looking at it. Uh, it is, as he says, a long level, so I'm probably going to break this one in half. Before we get started, I want to point out a small little detail that I just find very, very funny. You'll notice these uh, these colors here, the teams, uh, normally it's the blue little uh, Triforce looking thing. That's the default, if I remember correctly. And I just find it very interesting that this map editor said, no, 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 I want it to be team four and actually i love little things like that a little bit of personality and detail and, and preference of the map maker that we see come on through so i just i want to just point out that i saw that i saw your little preferences there i'm not sure exactly why um just I guess green over the others which i can i can get hmm. but like i said at the beginning uh this one you will definitely want uh don't get, don't judge it from the very beginning because this one starts out simple, but it goes somewhere very interesting. I do have some complaints about it. We'll get there when we get there. And if you noticed, by the way, the description said, uh, go fight the man Cuber, which when I first saw, I was trying to figure out, is that a, is that a typo? Because there was a typo earlier in the description. I was like, I don't know, I don't know what a man Cuber is, but I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> um, I'm going to tell you, that is not a typo. That has a very intentional meaning, and you will know it when you see it. <laughs> it's actually it's actually pretty cool. So let's come on, Doom. It is in fact a long level. While this is loading, let me double check and make sure I didn't screw anything up and that I actually am recording. Come on. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Audio's good, everything's good. Not like those other times. Critical energy. Right off the bat, I am of the mind that I'm of the mind when it comes to the titles, it just says restore the main energy to restore the protection shields. I don't know what the shields are for, what exactly that means. Oh god, I'm an idiot. But I don't need to yet, so that's fine. Bam! Get some frame drop issues here. Oops. It's making this a little harder than it would be normally. Jeez. <laughs> that throat just got caught up there. Um, that's why I have my tea with me, because how else would you play Doom with a nice cup of tea? What, are you going to have whiskey or something? What kind of, that's this wussy stuff. All those, all those wussy boys. Well, later on tonight, that actually sounds pretty nice. Later on tonight, maybe I'll do that. Um, get out of here. For now, it's tea. Because I've been talking all day. Such is the life of a teacher, man. Get out of here. Get your foot. Oh, I messed up. Um... Oh, but going back to the title, because I like to give some just general feedback here. Uh, I'm of the mind... Oh, this was unclear. Like, you figure there's things to grab here, but it was unclear what this was supposed to be. I didn't use those at all. Um, but this is an interesting mechanic, actually. I, I think I would have signaled it a bit better, but this is... I kind of like this, because you grab these and use them throughout the level. And that is a neat idea. And he makes sure that you do it, because the door won't open until you do. But still, it could be signaled, so I kind of know, like, why is that a thing? But it doesn't matter. Um, I might have had you go to, like, a maintenance closet and pick them all up because someone says, hey, you're going to need these, or... I don't know, there's, there's lots of ways to do it. Uh, I, I've never had a fight in this module, by the way. It's kind of cool. This module infuriates me, by the way, because you can see the green embers, and yet we can't change the color of the embers for no particular reason. They're always red and orange. Cool. Uh, but about titles, finally, I am of the mind, this is just a preference thing, that when I have my titles, I pretty much always have them all uppercase. 
because they, they something about them doesn't look like a title to me if it's not like that. Just in this particular font. But also, I think I have an obsession. If you saw any of my documents I worked in, I use uppercase quite a bit. Not all the time, because I don't look like I'm yelling, but any like heading or subheading is pretty much always going to be uppercase. So, you know, maybe I'm not the person to listen to on this, but that's just my own view. Come on. You want to see these? Check out these switches. Check it out. <laughs> Bam. Um, but I would definitely change the color of those because the white feels... Like, white is a good color for a title in a lot of cases, but it often feels default, and default feels like you didn't put thought into it. So it's just a, the first little impression, first little place to show, hey, every little thing that I can, I'm twisting to fit in my vision of this map. Every, every little thing matches the flavor I have in mind and my own little touch. And other people probably don't care nearly as much about that. But again, you know, if you come here to my reviews, that's the kind of stuff you're going to hear, at least some of them. Um, but like I said so far, like these fights, it's interesting to fight on these stairs, but... I might have seen this. In fact, I think I did even. Just said, okay, so this is, um, you know, going up some stairs, fighting some dudes. Relatively simplistic, no real, uh, no twist on these. The module doesn't have a whole lot of set dressing. Fighting on the stairs is actually kind of interesting, but it still feels, um, kind of plopped in. Bam. I did it. Okay, and I have to press this button. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure how many doors would have a button just chilling, like, right here. But that's a minor thing. This room is cool. Uh, I don't think there's even a fight in this room. There wasn't last night. Using the embers here is very neat. What I would have done, if you've got resources available, and it would probably make my frames chug here a little bit, is I would have filled this entire thing with fire. Like, that would look... That would look awesome. Or at the very least, put a, um... A blocking volume down there with a... Uh, texture on it, like the organic one, or some of, the, some of the ones that look like, could make it look like lava, is what I'm saying. Um, and make sure you've got a texture on there that's got the, the glow effect. I don't know why I'm forgetting what, what that's called right now. And the, just, this would all look very, very cool. In fact, this, seeing these embers made me realize I can use this, absolutely, in a map of mine. I actually was planning to anyway, because if you didn't know, you can actually teleport down there, and it's kind of a spooky, cool little, like, um, looks like a cargo bay or cells or you know, whatever you want it to be. Uh, there's no audio in this room. No, not audio. No music in this room or anything. This was neat, by the way. Um, took me a, um, not very long, but a second to figure this out. There's a more elegant way of doing it, and I would at least make sure that they are... I guess he wants it to look like it's a game UI thing as opposed to like a floor thing. But this green is supposed to tell me, hey, check this out, because you don't have double jump, so you can't get anywhere otherwise. And there's another one, uh, which is again nice, but it does look a little like, I guess I'd say ham fisted just the way it is. Just kind of like go here. There's probably a more elegant way of doing that, but that's minor. So I come up here, I would use a different switch, because like that was another complaint. In fact, this was in Z Manzilla's, I think, 10 strange decisions I see in Snap Map, or maybe it's 10 things I hate, but I'm pretty sure it's strange decisions. This is a good prop, but man, does it look out of place here. Um, same with, again, with this button. Although I have to admit, I did love hearing that switch sound. Um, so I come over here. I think there's a fight in here now, actually. Maybe it's later. Bloop, 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 bloop. Save that one. Um, so I came across... Oh yeah, and then I just, I, I'm done. I just, you just have to get over there. But this is kind of nice. Nothing too hard, but I mean, clearly, taking advantage of this is a tiny little parkour kind of, if we want to call it that situation. Go in here. This is cool. One of those places that you may not have even known that you can go. Um, yeah, here I am, right up here. Man, that looks cool, doesn't it? Um, unfortunately, all it is is just like this little hallway, so the best use they were able to make of that is the best use that you can get, really. At least close to it is to just have to have teleport over here. I would have had a door. Then when you opened it, fade the camera to black, have me appear over there, have a clanking sound. So just like, just have a transition, like Resident Evil style. But that's how I would have done it. Um, I actually, what I want to use with this is, you see this overlook? Wouldn't this be great to see something like over there? 
like uh, see the big bads talking or walking around or some sort of like um, just something spooky going on over there or down here have a, a conga line of zombies whatever and just you get to walk by and see it before you fight as opposed to after not saying after is bad but that that's just a, a cool use of this for any of you uh, map editors out there any burgeoning map editors out there I wonder why they're using slime as like radiators that's weird Bloop. So now I'm over here with the Spector. Ah, it stopped you. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Come on. Oh, you seriously, actually, now. I thought you'd be dead by now. Okay. Is that their default health? I thought it was less than that. Might have made that one really tough because it's the only thing in this room. So this does introduce this little motif that runs on through that you put these in. Turn on the power. That's why you were grabbing those before. So energy partially restored. Now, what the hell it's just kind of doing, like, this is where the power thing is. Just the here, because reasons, is a little odd. But it's still, this is a good way of saying, hey, that's the only thing you can do here. Now you know how this works for the future. This guy spawning here was cool. I don't know if he just has, like, a wave. Oh, that's right. This is the boss. I will say, unless he's tweaked it, because that other map maker had already made a tweak, this boss fight was just kind of like a, I mean, okay, another, to make another Z-Manzilla nod, another one of his little gripes, I think this was his, yeah, this was his, like, why would you do that, was um, high health uh, single bosses, which I get it, like, if it's a boss, it's got to have more health, exactly as, as good old Z-Man said, z Um... But this is, as you'll see, kind of like... just I just have to do this for a while. And he doesn't do anything different. He's just hes just a really hard-to-kill Hell Knight. That's thats his deal. He's just, he's just here to... Just, you know... Pop things and clap along with... You know, the beat of his own drum. Because those clap. I don't know. Clap. Get rid of. Honestly, he's not dangerous. Really, what I need to do is focus on these guys who can actually hurt me. Give me your foot. Oh, God, I keep getting. You think I'd have memorized every single glory kill by now? And I feel like I've got. Ah! Oh! <laughs> he punched away my man. I feel like I've almost gotten worse at them. They remember which ones are which. For, like, I guess I'm just going for the strange ones. Hey, step on your face. Oh. Oh. I always love when that happens. Check it out. Now, I want to look at the thing. Um. Anyway. Let's see, just now. I guess it's not as bad. You might have even tweaked this as last I saw it. I didn't think to check. Maybe I'm just re misremembering. But I, I remember this being kind of like a. Maybe it's because I just fought him to death up there at the beginning, I don't remember. But uh, it's just kind of like, uh, I mean, okay, kind of boss fight. Ah, that's right. Gotta go up here, what the, look at the thing, look at the thing, what to do? I gotcha. So then, I figured out I had to go this way, I go up here. This is a pretty module, by the way, just because these things are neat looking to me. I like those. This confused me. I won't lie. So I'm going to show you the quick way to do this. So here, not this, but um, I noticed this. This is one of my strange things that snap makers do, by the way, is have a row of like several of these, which is fine because that makes sense. Like the, there might not just like, why would there be just one set of these? But what's weird to me is then you do that and then you make only one of them interactable. I get it, you don't want me to do the same thing four times like an idiot, which I probably wouldn't do anyway. But what you can do is just have them all ready to go and then on used, disable all the others. Like that's what I would do. Just so it doesn't feel like a, wait, I guess it's just a prop and then I move on. Um, granted, this kind of helps. Like you learn with this map maker just to look for the green and that helps you. Um, which I get. I think there are more... What I would have done, if nothing else, you see how it's just like simple bars, decals? I would have had like little caution lines or something, the same kind of green, 
turn up the brightness just like he did. But but I would have made it just in, just something else, a little bit more engaging, because you have some nice options there to pull from. You may as well, right? Um, so you go up here and you're like, I can't do that. I don't have the yellow key. I keep on going. <laughs> ah! I almost flubbed a jump. And see, I saw this, and I was just dumb, in part because those matched, I guess. I was just like, oh, okay, I can't go in there yet. I went up to the top. And you can't do anything up there. What you're supposed to do, you see the green here. So you might have been like, uh, how did you mess this up? You put these in. Two of our four are now down. I like the little, almost like an indicator of your, proce your progress down there. Um, the number of cores you have left. And now you're in here. You got you a fight in here. And again, if you've stuck with me so far... You might be saying, well, this is, this is a, there's some stuff that's going on here, but it doesn't stand out compared to any other maps. Why did you have such a glowing, you know, why are you like, I can't wait to try to show this one to you guys. You know, why would you feel like that? That's right, let's go down here. But let me show you. Later on, just stick with me. I'm going to stop it. I uh, know I'll do, I'll do this fight first. So this is kind of like, all right, got the key. Grab this, and then it reappears. I don't know why it does, but it does. But now I got a grenade, and no frames. Jesus. Hip up, man. I hope I do as well. When I was playing this last night, I was, I was, uh, I was on fire <laughs> in terms of like some interesting kills and stuff. Oh, what? I can kill you. Did he fall off? Did it? Ah, huh, oh. Huh. Huh. Oh, I will notice something. If I remember right, I'm 90% certain it was this map makers. Um, hopefully I won't die this time. I was just kind of relaxing last night, so I was... Oh god, or maybe I'm... Oh! No, no, no! No, I don't want to be there! Please! Ha! We'll see if I die too much this time. But if I do... And I probably will at least once. I mean... Talking. Excuses, excuses. The sun was in my eyes, etc. My dad works at id. Um... But you'll notice the respawn timer is not the default 4 seconds, it's like 10 seconds. And I don't know why. I get it. Like, you're like, uh, there's not, gotta be a penalty for dying if I don't have lives, but... You know, the penalty shouldn't be make your map slightly more obnoxious, especially since the player could already be mad that they died. Um, it's just, you know, not good for you, doesn't help us at all. Um, if you want to make a challenge, that's fine, but... It doesn't really add challenge, it just kind of adds tedium. Um, again, the classic Super Meat Boy, super tough as nails game that punishes the player for any mistake, but then spawns you back in literally like within a second. <laughs> um, that's something worth noting. So I'm halfway through this fight here. This feels like a good place to stop for the time being. Uh, there's going to be one uploaded immediately after this, don't worry, with the second part. I would definitely watch that. If you've come this far, like I told you, the first part's just kind of paint by numbers. The second part is much, much better. It's like this guy was learning how to do, as we all are, learning how to do this as he went, and the map really starts to shine after he gets those basics down. I shouldn't say basics down. It's like, this is not his first map. I don't mean like that, sorry. But I guess I should say his vision for this map starts to come out more accurately. All right, so we're going to stop now. Um, I'm about to have a real big surprise when I unpause this. Oh, God. Uh, and I'll see you shortly.